When I finally understood this truth about how to talk to God that I'm going to share with you, it made me question everything else I had ever learned in my life and why it seemed so difficult to talk to God when really this one simple truth would have changed everything. I don't question things like I used to. I don't doubt and fear and wonder if it's God's voice or is it just me thinking, am I talking to myself? Am I looking at myself in the mirror? Or is the God of the heavens there? And I want to start out just by saying that this is not my opinion. This is not my some special revelation. This is the truth that God specially designed for you to understand in the next eight minutes of your life. If you'll stick around till the end, you'll find revelation in it. And then it's not clickbait to any degree. I want to tell you, the Bible says, Jesus said in Matthew chapter six, for your father sees everything. When you understand that truth, that sentence that Jesus said, you'll finally take the mask off. And that is exactly how you talk to God, is you take the distractions away. Just like this table right here, of which I'll be lifting up, right? And I'm trying to get a cross on this table and I'm trying to eat some, let's say good barbecue or dessert, or I don't know, whatever it is, your favorite food, right? When the dinner finally has arrived and your mom or dad or sister or brother or sons or daughters, I don't know, whoever cooks for you, whatever situation you're currently in, let's say they're a good cook. Okay, I know. <laughs> I know you're probably laughing right now because maybe somebody in your house isn't a good cook. But anyway, separate to the point, they finally bring the food to you. And you have, let's just say you have your homework, you have your laptop, you have your books, you have all these distractions on here. And you just finally got to get it out all the way. Why? Because the food's coming in. Because you got to get all the junk out the way so that you can understand what it looks like to wear a mask, what it looks like to have all these facades up in your life when it comes to our relationship with God and how to talk to God we a lot of times feel like we need to only come to God if we've got everything figured out if we've got everything perfect if we know everything to say and we know the exact prayers to pray we know the exact scriptures to read and then just maybe we have a chance when it's talking to God listen when you finally accept the love that God has for you you will go and talk to him like the one-on-one -on -one father that just wants to know you, that just wants to help you, that just wants to bless you. I encourage you today to stop questioning whether or not he's fighting for you. Stop questioning whether or not you can come to him in full faith and no condemnation. The Bible says, come boldly to the throne of grace where we find mercy and help to help us in our time of need. It also says in Psalms 100, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. All that to say, this revelatory truth, this sentence that I'm going to share with you is exactly what will change everything in your walk with God and how you can really understand how to talk to him. It's this simple. When you talk to him, accept what he says. And not just accept what he says. You see, he has already said so much. So many times I hear people say, I wonder where I can hear God talk to me. I wonder how I can hear God talk to me. And their Bible, our Bible is just sitting on the ground. It would be similar to my wife saying right now, crying out tears, saying that, Gabe, why aren't you talking to me? Gabe, why can't I see you? Gabe, why can't I be with you? And I would respond by telling her, Allie, I'm in here. Allie, come in the door anytime you would like. Allie, let's talk. And there she comes. <laughs> <laughs> and she's out there while I'm making an Instagram video right now. But right, you guys get my point here. I'm saying God is welcoming you into his house at all times throughout every season, throughout wherever you are. He is welcoming you with open arms. No matter how many times you sinned, no matter how old you are, no matter what church you go to, no matter how many boxes you check, he just wants you. And that's the truth that I just want to share with you. And that's actually similar to the truth. I will be sharing my testimony. We will be preaching. We will be seeing revival and miracles at all these places of which I'm showing you right now. So be sure to screenshot this because we're going all across the country, preaching at churches and events and just all over the place. And you need to come, bring your friends, bring your family. Don't miss it. And also, if you want to help us travel and continue preaching the gospel, I'm not charging a single cent to anyone to spread the word of God. And I'm able to do that because of your guys' support. And if you guys believe in this channel, if this channel is helpful, you at all and you want to help us reach one more person, you can donate down the link in the description below. Your donation gives us the support so that we can get the word out more. The more support comes into the channel and the ministry, the more we can just preach the word of God. And I just want to say thank you. Trust me, that doesn't go unnoticed to God. So when it comes to how we talk to God, we've got to, again, first, open up his word and not ignore him. Again, just like I call Allie into my room, I'm inviting her into my presence. I'm inviting her into fellowship with me. I'm inviting her into this, this place of union together, right? God does the same with you where he is speaking to you. He is giving you wisdom. He is giving you love. He is giving you peace. All the things you're looking for, he's giving to you in that place of his voice, in that place of his word. You want to know how to follow the Holy Spirit more. You want to know how to hear God's voice more. 
value the word that he has already given. This is actually the principle that would apply to any area of your life. If you want to succeed, if you want to um, do well with your job, if you want to do well with your friends, if you want to find a wife, if you want to find the right person to live with, be faithful with what you have been given and you will be given more. It's the same reason why y'all boys out here are, are wondering why you don't have any gains and why your muscles are a little, you know, on the slight end. It's because you haven't been hitting the gym with the small muscles that you do have. Because I promise you this, uh, I myself, I know I, I don't have like ginormous muscles. I have a, a little bit of size, but I used to be even scrawnier. I remember when I was in middle school, I was like just some real skinny white boy, right? And I was discouraged at the time. I was like, man, all these people are stronger than me. And, but I finally got up the courage to go into the weight room. And when I first went in there, I felt like everyone was looking at me and it was awkward. And I was just like the skinniest guy there and just didn't have any muscles. But I stayed in that weight room. I overcame that awkwardness and I just made the decision to keep fighting. That's the same decision you need to make right now with your walk with God. You feel like other people have it more figured out. You feel like other people hear God's voice more. You feel like other people are more righteous than you. Stop that. Those are lies. The truth of the matter is that you are just as loved as anyone else. And Jesus Christ, the fullness of the power and realness of God himself applies to you just as much as it does to anyone else. He wants you just as much as he wants anyone else. He wants you with everything that he is. So all that to say, when you understand this truth, you'll talk to God like he's your father. And just like I was talking to him today, talking to him about the grass, talking to him about my day, talking to him about people, talking to him about what do I think about a topic? And then I ask him questions. Be sure to ask God questions because he'll answer. And I, I was asking him, God, what do you want me to do with this? God, what do you think about this situation? God, what do you think about this sermon? Was that good? God, what do you think about this song? And just, just go into his presence. Obviously, there's an honor. There's a respect, a place of I'm talking to the God of the heavens and the earth. I'm talking to the God of who can flip his watch and create a brand new universe. That's my father. And when you know who your father is, it changes everything. You'll look yourself in the mirror and you'll say, I'm anointed, I'm called, I'm loved, I'm full of peace, I'm full of joy. I'm going to get the job done. I'm going to get that um, uh, favor in my job and in my sphere, my career. I'm going to pay my bills. I'm going to be able to help more people. I'm going to be able to love. No, no, Nothing and nobody is gonna be able to take me down and take the vision that God has given me because why? He is my father. That is exactly how you talk to God, full of faith. My relationship with Allie, we talk to each other all the time, but it's it's rooted in this form of she comes in and, and I go to her and she talks to me and she texts me and I call her and she calls me with what? With a form of believing in each other's love. Now, our relationship is great, but let me tell you, it's not as great as the one that God wants to have with you right now because he wants to have an even better one with you where you even trust him even more because as, as loving as I may be, I'm nothing compared to the love that God has for you and the relationship that he wants to have with you. So call him up today and just talk to him. Come to him by faith, know his word. That's the truth. I could keep on preaching for days, but instead YouTube is suggesting this next end screen to you for a reason. I don't exactly know what video to you there. I don't exactly know what video to you they're suggesting to you. And I don't even know what to say anymore because I'm just so excited. Ah, and I'm going to preach in Houston on Sunday. Ah, <laughs> anyways, they're suggesting this next video to you for a specific reason. I don't know why you haven't clicked it yet. So go be sure to click right here because.